Yo, what's good fam? It's your man Jay. I'm back with another episode of Evolutionary Comics. Got my little stack. It's new comic book Wednesday. Hey, you know what it is. Let's get it. Welcome to another episode of Evolutionary Comics. As you see, I got a little different vibe going on today. I got some music playing in the background. It was one of the suggestions that uh, was given to me to uh, kind of, you know, break the monotony of the blog and try to, you know, not make it so mundane and just so blank. So I'm trying different things, trying to, you know, get more uh, people who are not into comics into comics and get you more acclimated to listening to my voice talking about comics. All right, so to start this episode off today, I just got a question. Did you guys see the last episode of Loki? Yo, that was dope, that was so dope. It was much anticipated. People were waiting for Kang the Conqueror to show up. And even though that wasn't Kang the Conqueror, it was more on the lines of Amortis. But if you know about the history of Kang, Amortis, and uh, Ramatut, and all of, just his different personas, um, what he was actually talking about, uh, John Majors did an awesome job with that. I can't wait to see more. That is going to be like one of the game changers in the Marvel Universe. I think it's going to go just not so be so superhero-ish to like that actually have some good actors in there that's doing their thing. You know, so I don't know. You know, it's going to be great. I was super hyped about it. As you see, I didn't realize uh, that I had this particular issue. I saw it on one of the other comic book vlogs. And uh, I, I was like, man, I wish I had that book. I think I got that book. So I just went and looked before I started this show and I got that book. So it's great to always find things in your collection that um, that you didn't know you had. And I don't know if it has any value, but it's a hell of a dope cover in my opinion. So moving on to uh, what I picked up this week because this is the episode of What's In My Bag. And uh, I got about eight pickups this week. Didn't have a real heavy week. Um, it was heavy on the pocket as always, but wasn't as heavy as far as the amount of books. Um, and real quick, we'll just start off with, this is Skybound X number two. And this is by Image Comics. This is actually the one in 10. This is the Scotty Young and I'm not sure who Neve is, but there's kind of like a collab um, effort for this particular cover. I picked it up, there's a color one and then there's a sketch one like this. Kind of dug that, thought it was a little bit different, wasn't too much off from, you know, the regular price of the book, so I picked that up. I haven't read uh, issue number one yet, um, but if you don't know, it's a mix-up of stories, it's about four different stories, the main story being, um, the, the, I guess, the escalated in time version of The Walking Dead, you know, they had made it, you know, to a certain point, so I'm definitely going to uh, check that out and find out what's going on with Rick Grimes and you know, the dearly departed, uh, my favorite character from that particular show, but that's a, something for another day. Alright, so next up from Marvel Comics, I have Champions number 8. Talked about this uh, in my last What's in My Bag. You know, I'm still grabbing these up. To, I'm picking them up mainly because it's Miles Morales and Riri Williams that are in this particular uh, in this particular comic, I always got to see what's going on with them because they are among my two favorite uh, characters. This is, I think, this is the finale to the WhatsApp the Kill app thing that was going on in that series. So um, we're gonna see what happens with that. They're still battling rocks on and you know trying to proceed with away from that uh, initiative where it was the Kamala's Law thing. So we're gonna see what's going on with them. That's again, that's Champions number eight. And I think there was two different covers. The other one was a Peach Momoka cover. Um, I'm not a big fan of Peach Momoka's work, so I don't really pick up her covers, even though you know she's a great artist. She does like more watercolor stuff. I'll put a, you know, a visual up so you can see uh, what the other cover looks like. But like I say, I'm not a fan of it, so I didn't pick that up. All right, next up from Marvel Comics is Sinister War, number one, and yeah, so I'm excited about this particular uh, series. I think it is a four-issue series, 
and I heard that there was no like um, spin-offs or anything like you know you had to go pick up you know uh, Thor number two 48 to find out what's going on and it's, you don't have to do none of that crap there's gonna be Sinister War as the Soul series and it's gonna be awesome because there's gonna be a break off of factions it's gonna be the Sinister Six and then the Vulture with his shady ass up here he uh he also is gonna have his own little group called the Savage Six I'm really interested to find out what the name's gonna be you know because I mean if he's not part of the Sinister Six that makes it only five I said this before in my other video so y'all think y'all hit me in the comments what y'all think the name would be if it's only five the fiendish five or the funky funky five or whatever I don't know we'll see but yeah so that's the variant cover actually there's 15 different covers for that particular this particular book um, I only picked up this one because I liked it and um, I also picked up the main cover of course and you can see all the different villains in you know in Spidey's sights so yeah I thought this was a dope cover this was a great A cover for them to choose so yeah that's the Sinister Six number one and that's it for Marvel um, so next up is DC Comics and this is going to be Batman Urban Legends number five I gotta catch up with this series as well um, it started off really good Red Hood is, is serious. Jason Todd is a whole nother entity. He's on a whole nother mission. He's misguided. He's really, really angry. Pissed off, rightfully so. He's mad at the bat and he's also mad at the Joker and everybody else. So we're going to see how he channels his anger and, um, you know, not kill anybody that he shouldn't kill. So he definitely doesn't have Batman's principles as far as that no kill law. Mess with him, he, he will smoke your ass. Alright, next up is Detective Comics number 1039. And yeah, so this is this is another series that uh that's been ongoing. I guess this is a new character showing a new villain, Vile. Um, I can't remember the show. It was the show I used to watch on uh one of the I can't even remember the network, but it was about these creatures that, you know, they used to spit out these little, this liquid, and it was a bunch of worms and parasites, and it turns you into something, so not sure if that's what it's like, or the walking dead type, or whatever, but yeah, that looks pretty crazy. Alright, so next up is the Joker, number five, and yeah, so I, I love this cover. This is a hella dope cover, and... The Commissioner and the Clown is what it's subtitled, and yeah, this is like one of those old school covers. You see uh, the little outlet of Punchline, she's going to be in this one. There is a couple of other covers. One of the other covers has Bane's daughter, um, and I always forget her name, but just say Bane's daughter because she is a chip off the old block, so to speak. But uh, if you don't know, if you haven't been keeping up, Bane is supposedly dead. Um, he was killed in... Uh, the attack on Arkham Asylum or whatever and Bane's daughter is pissed about it and, but she has direction she's Bane's daughter but she has intelligence you know as far as you know going after who she needs to so we're gonna see what happens with uh, Commissioner Gordon and how he deals with the Joker who I do believe in this particular issue um, that it gets to the point where in, in issue 4 actually the Joker gets thrown into Arkham Asylum so we'll see how he's doing locked up once again all right so next up we have <laughs> bunny mask and this is a uh, bunny mask number two and this is by aftershock comics this is written by paul tobin and andrea moody and i'm gonna tell you paul tobin his mind and i don't know what's up with his mind but he is spot on issue number one was definitely definitely a grabber um i'm gonna do a two in review on this one it'll be coming up in the next couple of days but I read number one after having it for about a week and a half and my buddy Frank at uh, Emerald City Comics, he told me about it. He was like, you know, just open it up and look at the first couple of panels. If that don't catch you, then, you know, I don't know what is. The whole book is crazy. The whole book is crazy. And basically, there was this doctor. He was going out with Child Protective Services and uh, he was going to check on this little girl. Her father, batshit crazy, kills the Child Protective Service worker and then throws the doctor in a hole in like a cave and makes him dig and he's talking about these voices 
So they're down there digging. The daughter's down there too. That she's his co-worker now, digging, digging these caves or whatever. The father comes back periodically to check on him. Doctor finds a way to, you know, try to break off into another cave. Ends up, you know, getting shot by the crazy father, and then an entity, something crazy, pops up in the caves and saves the dude. Kills the father, and now. Fast forward about, I think about 15 years, something like that, and the doctor has, you know, healed. He's going on with his life. He runs into the daughter. So he, who he thought the daughter was dead, he runs into the daughter. So they reunite, and they're both having these visions of bunny mask. So it's all coming back around again, and this is gonna be a continuing issue. I am definitely gonna keep. I'm gonna tell you ahead of time before I do the two in review. I'm definitely keeping this one in my uh, in my pull list because as far as suspense comics, this is it. If you're into that kind of thing, this is something you should definitely pick up. All right, so last up is, uh, before I do my last one because, you know, this is probably my favorite pickup as I said in my own preview video, but I went back and my man Frank got me this variant cover of Gamma Flight number one. Um, Gamma Flight is, to me it's like it was Alpha Flight back in the days and then they came out with Gamma Flight. I wasn't as interested in Gamma Flight. Still, you know, not a favorite group or something that has my interest. But if you look at this cover and you remember like that uh, that children's book, I believe it's Where the Wild Things Are or something like that. But that book was a classic book and I remember my grandmother buying it for me. I remember reading it in elementary school and um, I just had to have this cover. This is a hella dope cover. The, my store, Emerald City Comics, they only got one. Somebody else bought it and Frank was able to get this one for me too. So this is the Andrews 1 in 25 variant of Gamma Flight 1. So appreciate you, Frank. This is hella dope. So I don't know. I don't know if you're into that kind of thing, but I'm into reading everything, not just comics. So I do remember books that I read when I was a little kid and this was a classic for me as well. So anyway. All right, so finally my last book, my last pickup, and of course this is Victor LaValle and Boom Studios Eve. This is number three. This co this cover is just hella dope to me. This is the A cover, and you know a lot of times you always think that they save the best covers for the variants, but um, there's a, there is a variant cover that I missed out on. I think it was a one in twenty five that my store didn't get, which I really wanted that particular cover. Didn't get that cover, but I'm definitely happy to settle for this one. Um, and I actually got three covers. So I got three of A. Two I'm keeping for myself. This one is for my niece, Zai. So she's I got her kind of hooked into what I bought her. Uh, issue one and two, let her read those. She really liked the story. So every time I get an Eve comic book, I am definitely going to buy her one as well. So. And honestly, if I find out any of my other nieces, nephews, or my friends, kids, or you know anybody who's nerdy, quote unquote nerdy, and in the comic book, that's the kind of thing that I do is because I do promote reading of all formats. One of the easiest things that I found as a kid was reading comic books. So I do encourage it, and it does help the vocabulary in the long run. So anyway, this is Eve number three from Boom Studios. And this is the variant cover. This is the first, this is cover B, should I say. This is cover B. And it's pretty dope as well. I like this one. And then I did get a Virgin uh, cover of cover B. This is the one in 10 Virgin cover. And uh, the artist is Pendergrass. Not sure who that is, but yeah. So digging these covers. Like I said, I missed out on number three, but you know, sometimes you, you get them, sometimes you don't but there's always another day to acquire it later. All right, so anyway, that concludes this episode of What's In My Bag. Um, it was a quick episode, I think. I think the music kind of helped a little bit because I think music, um, music is one thing in my life that I don't think I can ever live without. Um, I always, always have like just felt the vibe. And, you know, we live our life on the rhythm. You know, that's why I guess people are saying, oh, that's the vibe and it's true so 
hopefully I'm going to get more of this, uh, keep this music incorporated. I'm going to see how it sounds when I get ready to edit this video and hopefully it's going to keep me calmer so I can just flow through things and keep my thoughts together as I continue to, uh, you know, bring y'all news about comics. If you haven't checked out Auric first, if you haven't liked, like the video. If you haven't commented, comment, holla at me, talk to me. I'm an easygoing guy. Very friendly, very loquacious and gregarious and all those other big words. I like to talk in other words. And hit that notification bell so whenever I make a video, you know, you're alerted to it. You'll know that, uh, you know, hey, Jay got something else out. So it only takes a few minutes to check it out. Uh, you can watch it in ways. Watch half today, watch half another day. It's on YouTube. It stays there until, you know, I take it down. And I don't have any plans on doing that. All right, so that is the conclusion of this week's What's In My Bag, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys, you know, kind of dug the music being played in the background. It does, you know, give kind of an easier vibe to it, and music does that to people. You know, it kind of calms you down, especially depending on the type of music you're listening to. It calms you down or other music hypes you up, you know, so that's the purpose in music and the rhythms that, uh, that we have had passed down from the ancestors. So yeah, you know, I hope you guys like what I picked up this week. If there's anything that you think I should be reading that I'm not, um, hit me up. I do hope to get um, my issue number four of Black Cotton. I got, I had to order it, so hopefully number three and four are gonna be on the way soon. It doesn't take as long as issue one and two, but um, hopefully I'll get that, and hopefully my comic book store will actually get those in for me. Um, I just gotta remember to let them know. And The Lot, yeah, The Lot. The Lot was another book that I was hoping to pick up um, that my comic book store didn't have that one. Don't really know what's up with it. I keep forgetting. I have to make a list because I'm very forgetful. I have to stay super organized or I forget things very, really easily. I have, it's not that um, I'm getting so old, but it's one of those things where you have so much going on in your mind that, uh, that you have to stay organized to kind of, you know, keep the flow going. Again, I appreciate you guys for hanging with me. I hope this video wasn't too long. And remember, above all things, drink Snapple Apple. <laughs> nah, remember, continue to evolve, be a better you so we can be a better we. And uh, keep kicking it with me at Evolutionary Comics, baby. I'll let you boy.